Farm Hands, Ryan Nash here from Farm by Reef. How's everybody doing? So welcome here uh, to my, uh, this is my new set right here at uh, my editing desk that I do all my Farm by Reef uh, videos for YouTube. So this is where I spend a lot of my time uh, doing all these videos up for you guys and I greatly appreciate you for uh, all tuning in and watching all my shows. So I'm at it again. Uh, this one here is the Yoda build uh, story, the, the Reef Awakens. As you guys can see the intro, I got the whole story going on there with all my children. So it's going to be an awesome build that everybody can get in on here, kids, whoever, grown-ups. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a great experience for everyone um, with this build here. It's a 20 gallon. It's all glass with a corner overflow. And I have actually, I got to end up picking up a 30 gallon uh, sump that we're going to use to uh, help with this tank. So it's going to be awesome. So when I said the Yoda theme, well, actually what we're going to do is we're going to be creating um, that scene um, when Yoda and uh, Scott the Skywalker, Luke, uh, he crashes his X-Wing. So that's what's going to be going on here. We're going to have like a whole story that's going to process. And uh, what I want everybody to do is learning with the kids or whoever. Um, we're going to learn how to put this whole tank together, what products we're going to use and pick, um, what corals we're going to have and fish. And uh, we're just going to grow this story out together and what's going to be awesome. And hopefully you guys can all tune in uh, and go on this journey together. And we're going to make it fun. So I got a whole, I got all the products here that we're going to do. And we're going to do a step-by-step -step little build series for this so everybody can learn. And I just want to make it really simple and easy because anybody can put a tank together, and, but it's how you put it together and how efficient and it's going to work right. And that's what I want to do. And I've always been, it's all about education and learning that whole process and uh, the easiest so everybody, everybody understands and everyone learns in different ways, even like myself. I'm more of a, like a visual hands-on kind of guy. And that's always been like that. And everyone's programmed differently. And um, with this here, it's going to go with my, uh, my new website as well, farmbereef.com. You guys can log on there and check out all the progress on the builds. Um, the other thing is too, uh, I meet a lot of like kids and stuff at shows. They're always like, you know, how do you do this farm boy? How do you do that? How do you learn? And so I end up putting uh, an address on there. If any of the kids or whoever just wants to write into me, I want to read uh, anything that you guys write, anything you want to learn, I'll write you back. Okay guys, send you some uh, nice cool uh, stickers or something for doing that. I you know, really appreciate it and I'll even hang up anything that you guys send me out on the, on the wall. It'll be awesome if you guys uh, want any shout outs for anybody, let me know. Just write it in there and I'll actually read your letters so you guys can all check it out and uh, hopefully everyone learns something. So that's what's going to take place uh, with this build, this Yoda. It's going to be fun, it's themed and that's what it's all about guys. It's all about learning and education and having a good time. So what we got to do here now is we got to get this up and running. Um, I'm going to use some D&D H2 Ocean salt. So that's what's going to power this build. So we got that down pat and I'm going to show you guys. We're going to mix it up. We're going to test it, do all kinds of stuff, learn how to do the salt and make sure all the salinity is perfect, temperature, everything's right on. Um, what skimmer we're using, what lighting, what power heads to move the water in there. We got to get our sand and uh, what we're going to feed our corals and what we're going to feed our fish. Just a simple, basic, how we're going to put it together. Anybody can build. A nano tank for on their desk or you know for their kids um, like myself I got four children they're right into the reefing and um, as they're growing up I'm trying to teach them as much as I can and um, I'll probably have them on the show here as well and so if anybody wants to write into them just go check out my site and uh, you guys can find the address on there and I'm, I'd be more than happy to write anybody back or if you guys want to send anything out for me to look at and uh, just do shout outs for you guys look very forward to that and if anybody, your kids or anybody's at the reef shows, make sure you always stop by and say hi. It's awesome. It's great meeting everybody. All right, guys. So start off. I'll just well, tonight we're gonna do. Uh, we'll do the skimmer. What we're gonna be powering it up here. Um, this, I'm gonna be using the. Uh, this is the Tunzi uh, Combine Dock Skimmer. It's been great. I've been using them on my other builds as well. It's very compact. It's very small. The footprint and it runs very quiet. Uh, this one here has a flash uh, skimming and does a, has its own self cleaning uh, impeller as well. Um, this one's good up to uh, almost a 40 gallon tank. So it's going to be perfect for this one, guys. I think it's like a 37.5 or something like that. So this is what we're going to start off running on here. So that's uh, the Tunzi Comb Line Skimmer. If you guys want to check it out, there's links below. And if you guys want to purchase one of these, they are working really good. And very, very reliable. So, you know, they're made out of Germany. So and they have a great uh, customer service as well. So that's what we're going to do for use for the skimmer. Uh, what else do I got here? Um, we can go with... Uh, I'm mean, for like the return. It's very important to have lots of flow in that tank. It's one of the biggest things you want to make sure. You know, any detritus, anything gets moved around in that tank, so it goes over the overflow. Keeps your tank nice and clean. Um, say, you know, corals like a, you know the flow in there, motion of the ocean, you call it. So I'm going to put only. Uh, I'm going to put one uh, turbine uh, Nano Stream 6055. I use these in my other tanks as well. They're awesome, and it's and it's controllable. So we can just stick the controller on there. We can just pick up any flow any wave motion we want and I'm just going to hide that back in the corner 
So I can't wait to show you guys. We're going to do that install as well. So that's a couple of uh, the products, but I just wanted to go on this video, explain what's going to take place and what products we're going to use. And just, you know, just go check out the website. And I'm happy like, to talk to you guys. It's awesome and communicate. It's the best way to do it. And if you want to get your children involved in this, it's going to be awesome as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to go there. We're going to do the whole theme. And um, I got uh, another guy, Godfather of Coral. He's going to be doing, uh, we're actually going to have those figurines made out of a, a special product that we can do the whole story in here together. So I can't wait, he's sending that out. So thanks a lot, man, greatly appreciate that. So I'm just gonna take you a little tour, bring you in close, show you some of the tank, show you the 30 gallon sump that we're gonna hook to it. That we've got a plumb, put the return pump in there and what we're gonna use. And uh, and probably about a couple weeks, I got another show coming up. It's called uh, The Fortress. Can't wait to show you guys that one. Intro is coming out very soon, teamed up with a bunch of great companies. And it's gonna be a lot of fun and education as well. So that one's called The Fortress. And if you want to get a sneak peek, just check over on farmbrewreef.com and you guys can see uh, what's coming up next and uh, where I'm going to be any different reef shows. So let's take a little tour. Let's check out the tank and uh, check out the 30 gallon sump. All right, All right farm hands. So here's the 20 gallon tank we're going to be working with right here. It's got the right corner overflow. Um, you guys can see this is the return that's going to be coming from the pump. So it's actually, you can reverse it a little bit, get a little bit of flow going on there. And that one little tube that goes down, back down to the sump. This full glass back on, it's pretty cool. So I got a custom piece, what we're going to do. Can't wait to show you what's going to be going on in the back of that. Um, we're going to have to get our sand in here. We have to do a whole cycle on this one as well. So yeah, it's a pretty awesome tank just on my desk here is where I do it. And this is, uh, so this is the cone line. This is the skimmer we're going to put in here. It's pretty awesome. Very small footprint and uh, very reliable. So this is what we're going to do, a little install on that one. And uh, yeah, so that's the tank we're going to be working with. And we're going to, and what I want you guys to do, if you guys want to tag anything in uh, all the comments below, what you would like to see, just put it in there. Any scenes or any characters is going to be awesome. And then I just picked up this, uh, this is a you know brand, uh, brand new uh, 30 gallon sump. You guys can see with the gear, I was just messing around what we're going to do. But yeah, it's an all glass. I'm going to probably run a lot of macro algae in here. Just, I'm going to keep it very simple for uh, filtration so we can keep our, you know, all our PO4 nitrate down. We can use, uh, use the algae to uh, clean our water. And um, there's a few other different products we're going to put on that as well. But so yeah, so we're just going to keep this really, really basic. And that's what it's all about, guys. And uh, here's the, this is what we're going to use for moving the water in the tank right there. That's a turbo line on NanoStream 6055, moves a lot of water. All right, farm hands. So that's what's going on here on the Yoda build. I really hope you guys really do a lot of interaction. Even the comments below, uh, message me on, uh, go to my site, wfarmboyreef.com. Check it out, check the builds that's going on there. It's pretty awesome. And if anybody wants to write in, you know, send anything, you want me to read it, check it out, do a shout out for you guys. You know, any kid that wants any question, any help with their tank, just write me. I can, I'm excited. You can, I'm going to throw it on the wall and it's going to be awesome, guys. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. I really appreciate it. So make sure to stay tuned for the Yoda build and we got the Fortress coming up as well, all right? And I can't wait to show you guys. So please subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you.